How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry, Chapter 5. Again, we're looking at the ceiling. This seems to be a very common deal here in this chapter. But what happened in the last episode is that Shion found out that Satoshi has disappeared. And of course, we've heard a lot of predictions and thoughts from all the characters in previous chapters as to what happened to him. There's the classic, he transferred schools. That obviously didn't happen. There's the classic, he ran away. Honestly, it's kind of possible. And then there's the very likely, and one that I believed, and probably many others believed, even Keiichi, is that he was demoned away. And which means he was killed. But anyways, let us continue. Shion probably recovering from being in shock here. What? Okay, this is new. It had been a few weeks since the murder. Satoshi kun still hadn't been found. I had no new information on his whereabouts. Kasai's report came as a result completely out of the blue. That's the meaning of the police. I heard it was a that sounded strange. If it was Satoshi kun they arrested, he wouldn't have worded it that way. It sounded as though Satoshi kun wasn't the culprit. So it wasn't Satoshi kun. I swallowed those final words. I was convinced that it was Satoshi kun. The police and Oishi must have thought the same way. The reason Oishi approached me is because he was convinced that Satoshi kun did it. Okay, but sure, that's fine. You can kill like a random villager in Hinamizawa or whatever, but like, it had to be her. It had to be somebody else from that family. Yes? Kasai shrugged. さあ、何しろ今回の事件は秘匿捜査指定というものがかかっているんだそうです。なので、ほとんど情報が出回らないんです。秘匿捜査？何それ？連続開始事件による村への風評被害対策ということらしいです。Oh, I don't think there's much that uh that needs to be done there. I think I think the damage is done. 誘拐事件なんかでも。Come to think of it, I hadn't seen anything about the aunt's murder on TV or in the newspaper. Nanishiro,四年連続で渡流しの日に事件が起こっているわけですからね。親城様のたたりだと騒いで面白がるやからも多いそうですし、そうそう、何でもその小馬殺しの異常者ですが。<sighs> Kasai didn't know anything else, so instead of probing him further, I reviewed the information myself. I was really shocked to learn all this. I was convinced that Satoshi Kun killed her. I thought that was the reason he had to, dis had to disappear, excuse me. But it was actually some lunatic who killed her, and he had no relation to the aunt whatsoever. So Satoshi Kun had nothing to do with the murder. If so, why did he disappear? I couldn't accept that this lunatic had killed the aunt. And what's really strange is the phrase Kasai used four years in a row now. After all, I've been thinking that this murder happened because Satoshi Kun had been in a dire situation and had nothing to do with the series of mysterious deaths. I felt as though Satoshi Kun's case had become somebody else's. The series of mysterious deaths in Hinamizawa is also known as the curse of Ayashiro sama. Satoshi kun's case had become one of those mysterious deaths. In other words, Satoshi kun's case had become a part of Ayashiro sama's curse. I didn't like the way that sounded because it was as though the curse had swallowed Satoshi kun. Well, all things considered, probably. <sighs> Okay, 
それすらも分かっちゃいません。Ushi broke the seal on a new can of instant coffee. I did a k i m u n e o hatte, Satoshkunga handing that to Ikimaiti Takara. Mo Yukue o Tskander to Bakari o Motemasta. Yaya, Nasakena i k a g i r i d e s Ushi chuckled and poured a cup of coffee which looked far too hot. Shkashi, Mimi ga hayaina. Hi? Stok so sashte dat t e n o n どこの誰が漏らしてるやらやれやれうちの傍聴も問題があるなうしスマッツ seemed he knew why I was here today まあ腐ってもその先の端くれですので多少の噂は耳にできますということで I smirked back at him it's all about bluffing まあいいか腹を割り合った仲ですしね friends いいですよおしゃべりしましょう。<笑>まず聞かせてください。真犯人って一体何者です？異常者とか聞きましたけど、それってどういうことですか？<笑>どういうことって言われたってね。そりゃ私だって言いたいですよ。私はサトシ君が犯人の一点読みでしたからね。とんだ万馬券が飛び出したもんです。Ushi threw himself on the sofa and crossed his hands behind his head. He looked up at the ceiling and smiled wryly. Oh, god damn it. We're always looking at the ceiling, man. Stop. Nice. Nice. Again, he'd have to have done his you know, homework or something because for him to have killed another member of the Hojo family, and there's reasons as to why the Hojo family would be targeted by a quote unquote curse, he'd have to do some research. He, that, that could not have just been out of coincidence. たとえ凶器が見つからなくてもおおむね確定確定でしょうな Ushi still looking up at the ceiling was quiet. What? I imagine somebody swallowing that spoon and gagged. I know, I know what, you know, what those are. Like, you, you would see them at like school cafeterias here in the States. They're more like sporks. They're more spoon than fork, so it's more like you have teeny tiny, maybe not teeny tiny, but you do have pointy bits at the top of the spoon that acts as a,、uh, I guess, a multi utensil. Uishi turned his eyes from the ceiling to me. He looked serious. Yeah, I'm sure that'll work out. Yeah, I'm sure that'll 犯人は北条サトシ君だと思っていますきっぱり言い切りますね残念ながら
現場検証では犯人を特定できるような痕跡は何一つ発見できませんでしたサトシ君が失踪した後家宅捜索の許可がおりましてね家を改めさせてももらいましたがそれでもサトシ君が犯人だと疑ってる Damn, this, you know, off topic, this game really improved the amount of spooky ass music that they got. They really added in a whole bunch of weird shit. And I'm all here for it. She smiled in satisfaction. But I didn't feel relieved. Satoshi Kun, where is he? Satoshi Kun was a person who 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 was その先本家がやったもの、おば殺しとは無関係、という考え方は Was Satoshi Kun a culprit? Or a victim? The reason for his disappearance had become unclear. うーん。私は、旧敵との恋仲程度で、人一人を失踪させるなんてリスクを犯すとは思わないんですがね。Oh, I don't know. 実際、その雑家の内部としてはどうなんです Why would we tell you? シオンさんはそのあたり何かご存知知っていたらこんなとこに来ません。<笑>ごもっともごもっとも。ウシー laughed out loud while scratching his head. And after he stopped laughing, he leaned over. よーし。なら一つどうですかね協定を結びませんか Oh, I don't think so, buddy. No, no, no. This is the same shit from chapter one, and we were basically abandoned. What the hell? What the hell? Satoshi Kun, the case of 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 the なんだか一方的な虫のいい話に思えますけど。シチャグルチャグこのまま行くと、シフゴロシの犯人はすでに死んでるそのオーバーガタレってことで確定すると思います。そうなると、サトシ君の扱いは単なるイエデニンになります。つまり、積極的な捜査は打ち切られるということです。<笑>ですが私だけは続けます。私だけはサトシ君の行方を引き続き探します。シオンさんも私もサトシ君の行方を探しているという点では一致してると思うんですがね。目的が全然違いますがね。私は単に無事を確認したいだけですが、大石のおじさまにとっては逮捕が目的でしょうから。I think more than anything, he just wants to know the, like, the full story. <laughs> <laughs> He wants to solve the case, and that was very apparent in chapter 4. Shufu Goroshi ga ketchak sreba, Satoshi kun wa mujits ってことになりますよ真実はどうかは別にしてもね Well, uh, yeah, I guess. A yashi mon desu. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Outside the window, I could see normal life taking its course. But Satoshi-kun wasn't there. He should have been there, but he wasn't. And I was scared that I might grow used to his absence someday. Where was he? Satoshi-kun, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Satoshi-kun, what are you talking about? No, we're, we're not in Hinamizawa. We can't go there. No, we're not in Hinamizawa. We can't go there. No, we're not in Hinamizawa. We can't go there. To be demoned away means the same thing as being spirited away. It's part of the local dialect. Oh boy, we've experienced next year quite a few times. おばごろしがお社様のたたりのせいだって言うんですか全体的に見てみれば仏も北条家の一人ダム戦争の先般と縁がないわけじゃないですからねしかもまたしても渡流しの日にとなれば面白がる連中が現れるのも無理もないことです
case arose from the grudge over the dam conflict, it's quite simple. In the first year, the construction manager was killed because he was a symbol of the dam construction itself. Of course, the real enemy was the Ministry of Construction, but it wasn't as clear as a target. That manager, on the other hand, had been aggressively shouting back at the villagers, so he was a more appropriate enemy to attack. If Ayashiro Sama had really cursed someone, it would have been the officials from the Ministry. It's apparent that the target was selected based on the villagers' preference. Hmm, kind of like a lot of this is just human action. The second year. The accidental death of Satoshi Kun's parents. Accidental, quote unquote. It's said that they fell from a cliff in some park, but it's doubtful that it was really an accident. His parents were labeled as traitors to the village because they sided with the dam construction, even though they were also from Hinamizawa. The Hojo family was ostracized during the dam conflict in order to prevent further pro-dam activists from rising up. That means that the Hojos were necessary during the conflict to play the role of the traitor. So when the conflict was over, they no longer served any purpose. The construction site manager was a symbol of the external enemy, the Hojos were a symbol of the internal enemy. Those people fell victim to the curse, and it seemed that the grudge over the dam conflict had ended. Yet those incidents were followed by another one. The third year, the leader of the three families, the priest Furude, suddenly died of an illness, uh, excuse me, with an unknown cause. His wife drowned herself on the same night. She seemed to have left a note that said she was sacrificing herself to pacify Oyashiro Sama's anger. Whether it was a fatal disease or suicide, their deaths looked suspicious. Honestly, this is the one death that we never really examined the most. Like, we definitely looked upon the first one enough, I guess, to be kind of a start of things to really kick everything off in their spooky nature. The second case being so connected to Satoshi and Sotoko. The third case, of course, being connected to Rika. We just never really explored it all that much, you know? Mion admitted that the Sonozaki family didn't like the priest's attitude. Oh, never mind, there we go. <laughs> case solved, then. They didn't like how the priest had been generous toward the pro-dam activists. The priest wasn't quite a traitor, but he was certainly uncooperative. Looking at these incidents, I realized that the curse was performed based on the degree of hostility. Enemy, traitor, and descendant. Descendant? No, wait, that's not that's not what that said. Hold up, go back. Uh, dissident, there we go. Sorry, not a descendant. This meant that the curse was actually payment. It was a punishment for the criminals of war. And the fourth year. I didn't understand this case at first, to be honest. At first, I believed that this case was separate from the other ones, even though it occurred on the same day. I never thought that there would be any relation to the other three. But when I wrote it down and looked at it objectively, the victim is a relative of a traitor. After enemy traitor and dissident, relative of a traitor doesn't sound too odd. It comes naturally as a fourth target. How? On the day the villagers worship Oyashiro Sama, their guardian deity, the criminals of the of the damn conflict have been punished by the curse. Just like how I, how I was supposed to the uh, just how or just like how I was forced to pay at the Sonozaki house, the criminals were made to pay as well. God damn. After writing these things out, I started thinking that the fourth incident might be in line with the series of mysterious deaths after all. Whether it was Satoshi-kun or the Dopehead, it seemed that they were forced to play the role of a murderer as a part of a bigger scenario. Even if Satoshi-kun was the real culprit, even if he killed his aunt because of an ordinary grudge, the murder seemed synchronized with the grand scheme of the series of mysterious deaths in Hinamizawa, which is a payment plan for the war criminals. That murder was the result of his, of his pain. But what if somebody planned that as a part, or as part of a scenario? For instance, somebody might have, have suggested to kill his aunt on that day, that night, at that place. I had no doubts that Satoshi-kun decided to kill her in order to protect Sotoko. But did he really reach that conclusion on his own? 
Satoshi-kun was optimistic and somewhat detached as far as I know. Would he really have considered murdering his aunt even if it was to protect his sister? Couldn't it have been possible for somebody to have chosen the aunt as the fourth year's murder beforehand? And they used Satoshi-kun. And Satoshi-kun was eliminated because of his connection with them. Honestly, that isn't too far-fetched. But who would convince him to commit the murder if he was the one who did it? Or somebody else, somebody completely unrelated? Uh, I mean, it could be fucking Mion. It could be any of the Sonozakis. But let me throw this one out. Why not Rika? We have not talked about Rika a lot in this chapter. For obvious reasons, she hasn't shown up a lot. She knows her either her herself or this other personality that's hidden within knows the events that are going to happen up to her death, which is potentially next year. So could she be like in a way, in a weird way, a mastermind like, hey, you should do this or something. I don't know. It kind of goes back to my whole theory of things are kind of set in a way and you can't change them. Even if you try to, it's not going to work out. There's like a set in stone way of how things are going to go. Looking at it that way, the murder of the first year resembles this case. The main culprit behind that case hasn't been found yet, dead or alive. The other culprits testified that their fight had turned into a slaughter. But wouldn't it be possible that the main culprit had manipulated the situation? What if he had been told to kill somebody on that day, at that time, and in that place? I'm certain the first murder resembles Satoshi-kun's case very much. So did that mean Satoshi-kun was being controlled by somebody else? Uishi had presented me with a hypothesis that the Sonozaki family made Satoshi-kun disappear in order to end my relationship with a murderer. But when I read the notes I wrote down, his disappearance didn't seem too spontaneous. It seemed like part of a bigger plan. Since I'd unexpectedly gotten involved in that plan, I had to be separated from him. Then Satoshi-kun was demoned away as planned. At first, I also believed that the Sonozaki family made him disappear because they didn't like that I was in love with a member of a family of traitors. But something didn't add up. Something felt strange. I wasn't the reason for his disappearance after all. Even if I never met him in the first place, Satoshi-kun was supposed to kill his aunt in June 1982 and then disappear. At one point, I had been thinking of taking revenge on the hag. I'd believe that she'd separate us, but, or that she separated us, but what if my relationship with Satoshi-kun had nothing to do with his disappearance? What would that mean? Who made Satoshi-kun disappear? I need to understand the series of mysterious deaths in order to solve this mystery. What did all these deaths mean? Who was behind them? And what purpose did they serve? I wanted to know the purpose, the motive, and who was responsible. Who took Satoshi-kun? I wanted to know if he was still alive. The series of mysterious deaths in Hinamizawa is also called Oyashiro-sama's curse. What is that curse? Specifically, what kind of god is Oyashiro-sama? What blessings does he bring and what punishments does he dole out? I wrote down my thoughts in my notebook. What's Oyashiro-sama? What is he? I scribbled these things down. I was so absorbed by it that I didn't realize somebody had been standing behind me, watching me the whole time. I couldn't stop myself from gasping when I realized that. Oh. Oh, we haven't seen her yet. Where are we even? The intelligent looking woman giggled. She could have apologized a little better too since she'd been watching me from behind. But she just stared at my face instead. Being twins is a pain <laughs> it's a pain sometimes, yeah? Yeah, I believe it. 
People you've never met before can tell exactly who you are. Well, how do you know the name Shion? The woman giggled again. Yeah, you should have. Plus, I always forget her name. I think it's like Takano. I think it's Takano. She seemed to love her own hair because she kept running her fingers through it boastfully. Takano Mio. Aha. Mio, the yon de crete iva yo. Okizuka yarigato gozaimasu. Takano san. Alright, well, I guess we're keeping the formalities. It's probably for the best. Don't want to get too friendly here. Her condescending attitude bugged me. I hate meeting people like that. I closed my notebook and got ready to leave the desk. あら、怒ってる？ご検察痛み入ります。私は一人で考え事をするのが好きなんで、よそ行かせていただきます。失礼します。ごきげんよう。残念ね。私たち話が合うと思ったのに。そうですか？私は会うとは思いかねますが。
ねえしおんちゃんこのお話で盛り上がる前にどうしてこの話に興味があるか聞かせてもらってもいいかしら She leaned over and looked into my eyes. It was kind of uncomfortable. m i o さんこそ、私のことをどこまでご存知です Good question to ask. We will continue this conversation in the next episode. I, I hate to really cut off in the middle of context, but I'm、uh, kind of tired after today, so don't want to go too long with this episode. I might make it up at some point. I don't know. But thank you for watching this one. It is interesting trying to make parallels out of all these cases because there might be something to take from them. There might be. Or maybe they're just major coincidences. I have no idea. So we'll keep,、uh, we'll keep tugging along here and maybe we'll find something out. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.